Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Amazon Eero Pro Mesh Wi-Fi router. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the Eero app. There's what the app looks like. Okay, so here we have the router and the power cord. Around back, it is USB-C powered and we've got like a button here. And then we got two LAN ports. It does come with a cable, a LAN cable that you're gonna to have to go from your router. So wherever your internet comes into your house, you're gonna to have to go from that, like the cable company, the telephone company, you're gonna to have to start at their router first and then go to this. And then this is gonna broadcast Wi-Fi, but it's also gonna broadcast it to the other Eero networks and create a mesh in your house. Okay, so go to the app, click new to Eero, and you can tie it to your Amazon account, or you can just continue with an email and phone. So it looks like a really nice charger with USB-C. So the output for that router takes 24 watts. Output is five volts, three amps, or nine volts, 2.67 amps. Input, you can plug this into 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. Yeah, it looks like a very nice power supply. Then on the bottom of the Eero, it's kind of grippy does say where it's assembled. It says the input is 9 volts, 2.67 amps. Okay, so once you sign into your Amazon account, you can hit Start Setup. And so it's going to tell you, make sure you have the following before you start. The Eero, Ethernet cord, power cord, and your modem. This is the existing part that I was telling you about. So my internet comes in on my phone line. This is DSL. So I've got two LAN ports that work on this. I'll have to run this white one. This goes to my Google router right now, but I'm gonna disconnect that and I can plug it into that LAN line right there. So the internet's gonna come in through this and then to that Wi-Fi mesh network. Okay, so click Start Setup. Okay, so that modem, you're gonna turn your modem off. Okay, then click Next. Okay, so the instructions say I can use either one of these ports. So plug that in there, it should snap. And you're going to have to plug the other end of this into that port. Okay, so now power up your Eero, plug it in, and turn your router back on. Click the next button. you got to give it access. So it's now it's looking for the Eero device. So there is a light on the front of your Eero. It's blue. So it says it'll blink, but then when it pairs with your tablet, now again, I'm using a tablet or a phone, uh, make sure your Wi-Fi is on also on the tablet. That'll turn solid blue now. So mine is solid blue. Okay, tell it where it's at. So this is where you're going to name your Wi-Fi. So when people come over and they're like, hey, what's your Wi-Fi name and password? This is what the name is what's transmitted. You can make that anything you want. Um, some people make funny names. But, but the password now, that's what you're going to give out to people that you just want to log into that Wi-Fi. So give it a name. Okay, so I gave mine, the name is Oak Tree, and I put a password in there. So now when you're searching for Wi-Fi, that's what you'll be looking for. Okay, it says it has power, it's connected to the internet, and it's well-placed. Click Finish Setup. Okay, so there is an update for the Eero. So you can either do maybe later or install now. I'll do it now. So it does come up with this Eero Secure. It says free for 30 days. So down here in the small fine print, it says you got to go to the Discover tab to change the settings or subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Okay, so click Next. Turn on Content Filters. Nope, I'm going to skip that for now. And we can see that it says Oak Tree. That's the name that's being broadcast. Everybody will see that name. And that's what you'll log into for your Wi-Fi. But it says we're updating right below it. Because I clicked on the update. So it is updating that. And so my light on my front is like a white light now. Okay, so that update did take a while. Now that the update is done, it says online. So if you click on the internet, you can do a speed test. I'm going to run a speed test. That's pretty quick. It tells me what my up speed and down speed are. Okay, so if you click on the basement, it shows that it's online. That means I've got good internet. 
I can turn my status light. I can turn it on and off. That's the little light here. It's not very bright at all. Now my current software version after that update is 6.1.1. So I'm gonna click on this advanced. Okay, so back here, this is like their home page. You've got home, activity, discover, and set. Okay, so going back to the Eero app, you've got these different buttons. You've got home, activity. So activity is pretty neat. You can see what, um, what's been going on with your Eero. I haven't been using mine very long, so there's not much activity there, but that's going to be kind of neat. Discover. And then there's also settings. So in settings, I can change the Wi-Fi name and I can change the Wi-Fi password. Again, that's the password you're going to give out to everybody. Um, and you can, you can turn on guest access. Now, if you've got other parts of the Eero mesh, like the other mesh network parts, you're going to click this add device. And then it's going to add those and then it's going to create one big mesh, uh, network in your house. Okay, so the Eero does get just a little bit warm, but nothing too bad. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.